I was born and raised in Johannesburg, South Africa, and I studied as a graphic designer at the Art College. And before discovering my true vocation for, for the love of flowers, I traveled through Europe and discovered California about 17 years ago. So my studio is in one of the oldest barns in San Diego, and I've created an amazing and very tranquil setting so that I could, you know, get in touch with my creative side and to give the very best of myself to my work and to this piece. It's Art Alive 2008 and we're standing in front of the San Diego Museum of Art. Very exciting. This has been a program that the Museum of Art in San Diego has started. It's about florists that come to the museum and pick a painting and interpret the painting with flowers. And this happens once a year. It's the biggest fundraiser that the museum has. So for this project, I chose uh, the depiction of Jesus Christ, and it was painted by an anonymous painter in the 1600s. As you can tell, we have lots of different mediums, we have lots of textures, we've got great color, and I'm very excited to use all the materials and things that I've collected over the years. The river raft is part of his body. It was a great measurement and it was perfect for this art alive. So here I've started with a palm frond which one of my dearest friends had given me from his garden and I'm starting to shape Mary Magdalene's body which I thought the shape would work perfectly for her and I'm using the green cymbidiums. I've made the cross, bounded with wire, and I love the way it looked, I love the texture, I love the claws that it had in it. Here you can tell I've used orchid roots. I've soaked them in water for a few days. They're soft, they're full of moisture, they supple, and it's easy to work with. I liked it for Jesus' internal organs. The blanket that he laid on to me was quite important. It represents purity, it represents warmth. I love to use detail. Diamonds to me are part of royalty and works really well for the blanket. I'm using roses that have been skinned from a, a bark from a tree in Asia. This is called an oncidium, which is native to South Asia. And then those are her little arms, and that's her head. So she's actually very, very delicate. Succulents. I love succulents. I've been drawn to them as a child. My dad had succulents in his garden, and I find them very strong. I find them full of character. They're very simple, yet they just work really well for me. This is reindeer moss. It comes from Norway, and I'm mixing it in with mood moss that I found on a walk one morning. Mood moss grows in shady areas where there's water. I slice that off, and I'm using that as Jesus' loin. It's very velvet looking, and it works perfectly for, for that piece. The dendrobium, her family name is Sakura Pink and she comes from Thailand. Now this is a beauty, her name is Napoleon. She's a Catalea. I love the way she looks. The colors, perfect. She has a little pink on the tip of her tongue and I thought it was adorable. She's native to Costa Rica. I dried some tea roses which I've used in the piercing of Jesus' foot. It's pink, it looks like blood and it works well for his foot. The crown is made out of palm branches and thorns and I've bound it together with wire. This is the final item that will be placed on this piece. I'd love to dedicate this fabulous piece that I've been so excited to do to my father. He was my hero. He was my life. He gave me enthusiasm. He encouraged me to go for my dreams and to never stop until we get to the top. So, Dad, this is for you. I love you, and you'd be proud of me.
there have been very, very m many people that have encouraged me and have walked through with me to this point and have given me a wonderful opportunity to have my florist, have my happiness, and I will never ever be able to thank these people enough for what they've done for me.